Hello, good evening. How are you today, Magdiel, Jose, Aymara, Francisco, and Elizabeth? Thank you for being on time. Are you having issues or are you still in, in the way home? Can you hear me? Can everybody or? Okay, Elizabeth, you're on the way home. And yes, you can hear. Okay, thank you so much for confirming, Elizabeth. I thought I was having issues with my microphone, but I'm glad to, to know that you can hear me. Okay, I see. I see eight connected. I don't know if you are able to participate or if you're going to be just listening. Let me know. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm a little tired, but I'm, I'm good. That's nice. Thank you so much for coming. I see someone was having issues with the exercises from the platform. It was Ale, I guess, but she's not still in. So we're going to start with a conversation that was pending on Friday in the meantime. So let me share a screen with you. Teacher, Hello. I'm a little frustrated with the exercise because I don't know. With the exercises from the platform? Yeah. Okay. Is, is the same section number two? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to check them right away and I'm going to be sharing maybe screenshots for Ale, I guess she wrote in the chat that she was also having some issues with those exercises. Okay, so we're going to start checking them and in this mm -hmm. part, I don't know. In this part? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see, have someone here has done this exercise? or everybody's having issues with it. Okay, you said match the description to the four Ps. Do you remember the four P? It was price. Then you remember the four Ps? Um, no recuerdo si creo que creo que en esa clase es la que no estuve, entonces por eso es que me quedo así okay. en la nube. Okay, oh, so, imagine, you were writing. Yeah. So, you, you said Alex, I said Alejandra, but I think that. Sí. <laughs> Marilyn Alejandra. Ah. Otra Alexandra, pero sí. <laughs> okay. En el... The, the en four el... P's is product, price, promotion, place. Ajá, uh -huh. product, price, promotion in place. A eso se refiere las four P's. Uh, and this one, the activities that make the product available to consumers, I guess it is a place. What do you have? Uh, the second is the promotion. Is promotion. Promotion. Okay, the activities that communicate the products, features, and benefits that have for certain customers. Yes, promotion. 
And number three, the amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product. Price. Uh-huh, price. Uh, four, the merchandise or service offered by the company to its customer. Mm, product. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a product. Product. What are the four P's? Aquí solo sería de ponerla, ¿verdad? La four P's. What are the four P's? Place. Mm, promotion, price, and product. Um, product. Did you write commas or no? Let's see. Mm, okay, we have to continue here <laughs> much more. The following are examples of product, price, place, or promotion. Inventory would be? Uh, I guess it should be product, right? Inventory? In place. Okay, inventory is a place. Payment plan? Payment plan, uh, price. Okay, retail locations. What do you think? Place. Place, okay. Brand name. Uh, product. Advertising and promotion. Promotion. Okay, let's send the answer. Uh, 18 out of 20. Uh, okay, maybe we need to. Yo le puse coma, pero tampoco me lo agarra con la coma. Okay. Okay. Uh, it seems like you have to place the commas and also a period at the end. Uh, I I copy and paste it in the chat, so in the meeting chat, so that you can maybe do the same, copy and paste. Um, Let me know if it works. Okay, so recap. So number one, place. Number two, promotion. Number three, price. Number four, product. And number five, we have product price, place, promotion, and you need to uh, put a period at the end. I copy and paste this answer, the number five, in the meeting chat. Then uh, number one, in the second part, place. Number two, price. Number three, place. Number four, brand name. Number five, promotion. Everything okay? Yeah, everything okay. Okay, so let's move to the next exercise. Just, uh, two, five. I look at the following product. Which of the four pieces are they referring to? 
Okay, so what do you think in number one? Is that product, price, place, or promotion? Promotion. Sounds like promotion. And number two? Price. Uh, is it price? Okay, it is. it, it has some arrows. So, um, well, this can be, well, let's try with this. Uh, and this um, is showing the brand and here the product. So, what do you think? Number two. Or it's a set of two per picture. So, maybe it is... Um, Promotion and price number two, right? Because I think that the, these two are related to the first picture. Number one is uh, maybe promotion and number two, I guess it is price. And number four is showing the name, uh, the brand name of the product, right? Number four. And number three. Oh. Mm. Uh, number three, uh, place. Mm -hmm. And number four, uh, product. Okay. Uh, okay. Number three, place. And number four, product. Product. Okay. Let's see. Okay. In this, we need to complete. Choosing the options given, this one is to pay such high price. Colorful enough, not hot enough, fast enough, attractive enough, not fast enough. Not fast enough. Not fast enough, okay. Let's make them so that people can recognize them easily. What do you have? Colorful enough, not hot enough, fast enough, attractive enough, or not fast enough? Colorful enough. Okay, let's try colorful enough. Number three, it's to have first counter or a competitor's real estate product. Fast enough. Fast enough, okay. Number four, they are to make us lose ground in the market. Attractive enough. <laughs> Attractive enough. Okay. The coffee is to drink. No hot enough. Okay. And excellent. All the answers are correct. So let us review. Uh, number one, it's product. Number two, price, number three, place, number four, product. And then in the second part, number one, not fast enough. Number two, colorful enough. Uh, three, it's fast enough. Number four, attractive enough. And finally, number five, not hot enough.
next exercise it's to know how to use enough correctly test your knowledge with this grammar exercise i didn't run enough fast or fast enough to catch the bus fast enough fast enough yes first adjective and then enough excellent number two she is to know better old enough old enough excellent uh, she was to lock the car. Prudent enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was to trust her. Stupid enough. Uh huh. First the adjective and then enough. Uh, is it enough warm or warm enough for you? Warm enough. Warm enough. Okay. Sounds like all of them were, uh, Adjective plus enough. Very good. Now, um, level the examples of elements found in a product strategy using the question. We build quality kitchen hardware to for residential kitchen customers. Is it? How would you distribute the product? Who are you selling to? What value do you provide your customers? What are you selling? Uh, how will you price your product? What would be the correct question here? We build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. I think what value do you provide your customers? Mm. Uh, what are you selling? What are you selling? What are you selling? Uh-huh. Good. Number two, our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and the fear of their own children. Who are you selling to? What are you selling to? Okay. Number three, they are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly. What value do you provide your customers? Okay. Number four, we sell our product through a retail channel. Uh, how would you distribute your product? Our products are priced per unit and are considered high end hardware solutions. Uh, how would you price your product? That's good. Excellent, all the answers were correct. So let's recap, Arnav, if you are um, working along with, uh, with us. So number one, fast enough. Number two, old enough. Number three, prudent enough. Number four, stupid enough. Five, warm enough. And then in the second part, number one, what are you selling? Number two, who are you selling to? Number three, what value do you provide your customer? Uh, 
uh, four, how will you distribute your product? And number five, how will you price your product? And have one more exercise here. Boom. And this is with marketing, I guess. How uh, are the following ideas? Good promotion strategy. Select good strategy or bad strategy. Branded promotional gifts. Is it a good strategy or a bad strategy? Good strategy. Good strategy. Seems like everybody likes giveaways. Lack of social media promotion. Bad strategy. After sell customer service. Good strategy. Yes, yeah, sounds, sounds like good strategy. Rather giveaways and sample. It's good strategy. It's strategy. Everybody likes free things. Products and sell already expire. Bad strategy. Bad strategy. Bad strategy. <laughs> okay, let's see the second part. Complete the sentence using the information in parentheses and enough. Okay. Uh, teacher. It will uh, be uh, from my side. This is the part when I, well, I answer all the questions, but uh, I don't know if they mistype or missing something. For example, the first one, uh, I, I type in the, in the box, enough demand channels of distribution. And uh, with the dot at the end, Okay. But it says it's a uh, wrong answer. But I think that it's it's a correct answer. I don't know. Okay, it's just only with the number one. Actually, in all all questions. All the questions. Uh, in this part, right? Yeah. Because the, the instruction says uh, complete the sentences using information. So I only complete, I only type the the missing part. Uh-huh. The place is strategy in six dimensions of distribution. And what did you type, sorry? Uh, I typed uh, enough demand channels of distribution and with a with a dot at the end let's just to, to try this one okay uh so the thing here is um, I didn't place the period because it's already here. And also demands as it is the place strategy is a singular. Um, it's singular, right? It's a third singular and it's simple present. We need to add S to this verb. Demands enough channels of distribution. Mm, okay, that's, that's right. Okay. Probably you're missing the, the S. And also, we need to remove the period at the end, right? Since it's already there. Uh, I copy and paste the answer in the meeting chat. Mm. So maybe you can copy and paste. Okay, so I, I'm I'm correcting the, the other ones. 
Okay. Okay, so number two, our product offer features and benefits. So it will be our product offer. Enough feature, offer enough features and benefits. Okay, retailers will stock goods and sell them. Como puse la segunda. Hmm? Eh, the number two. Offer enough features and benefits. No ocupo our product. Um, yeah. No, because uh, mm. <laughs> enough uh -huh. features and benefits. ¿Y por qué no se ocupa lo primero en esa oración? In the number one. Uh, no, in the number two. I don't know. It is incorrect. It offer enough features and benefits. It's supposed to be correct, right? Okay. Um, Creo que le falta the or products. Let's see. Our product. No. Mm. Es que yo le he estado haciendo así. Así como usted la tiene ahorita, pero ajá, a mí no me la agarra, no sé por qué. Yeah, so number one, if you see, I also complete with this part and yeah. adding enough and, and a period. But here. Uh... Sí, yo creo que no me agarraba la primera porque no tenía... Este, la S de Mans, pero ahí uh -huh. todo estaba bien. Y la segunda, no sé, la tenía así, no, no me la agarra tampoco. No, ni siquiera me deja borrarla. Estoy refrescando la plataforma y vuelve a salir la... O sea, por la oración al hacerla así, sí tiene sentido. Entonces, no sé por qué la plataforma no la toma como válida. Eh, y sí, quizás si no está bien, entonces la tendremos que reportar el ejercicio. Déjame ver. Hacer trampa. O a saber si alguien de los compañeros lo ha hecho y tal vez le ha salido buena de otra manera. No. No, ya vi qué pasa. Oh, ah, Tiene una palabra que no está ahí. <ríe> ahí está. Offer great. Pero aquí no aparece great. <ríe> ¿Sabe qué? Yo, o sea, yo lo hice así normal. Pero cuando lo pasé para, para verificar si, o sea, si tenía, lo hice, yo decía, pero si tiene sentido, así, así es, vea. Porque es que uh -huh. nuestros productos ofrecen eso, vea. Pero al pasarlo después, como a buscarlo, cómo más se podía, sí, sí aparecía la palabra great, 
pero aquí no está, yo por eso yo no lo puse, yo lo hice normal, pero a mí me está de mala. Según el material, quizás que se descargó. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, solo se les olvidó quizás poner aquí Great. Uh -huh. Ok. Igual eh, bueno, lo voy a reportar, pero si, si no quieren esperar a que lo... Re... Porque a veces sí tarda un poco en que um, solucionen los, los um, detalles estos de la plataforma. A veces tarda un poco. Y si no quieren tener el ejercicio pendiente, háganlo así ahorita o, o se esperan a que se arregle el ejercicio, como ustedes gustan. Pero sí es, es que falta esa palabra que no nos la muestra acá, pero se, la plataforma según debe de llevarla. Y las demás, eh, igual, ¿les salieron bien o también les está dando error? A mí me está dando error, pero es que yo no sé. Vaya, la primera es porque él no tenía la S. Vaya, ah. la segunda porque no tenía esa palabra. Pero en esa tercera yo no sé por qué no, no. A veces quizás es por algún punto, un espacio, pero ya lo estuve revisando varias veces y siempre me sale mal. Ok. Ok, esta sí me la está tomando bien así, con solo las palabras que tiene y sin punto. Así que esa es la número tres, se la voy a copiar ahí en el chat por si la quieren okay. copiar y pegar. Para que... Create interest. The marketing department hasn't... Has to create enough interest. Creative is present perfect. Oh, should be in present perfect. Okay, excellent. Thank mm. you so much. Ah, pues por eso está mala, porque yo no la había dejado así, la había dejado solo aquí. Uh -huh. okay. But yes, the, yeah, you're right, it's present perfect. Thank you so much for helping us. And the last one, number five, we lack information on the competition. Okay, so number five seems like it's everything okay with this one. Okay, there you have the answers. I copy them and paste on the meeting chat. Let's review. Uh, number one, good strategy. Number two, bad strategy. Three, good strategy. Uh, four, good strategy, five, bad strategy. And number five, uh, well, number one in the second part, remember to add the S and yes, it is in the meeting chat, demands enough channels of distribution. Number two, offer great features and benefits. It's also in the meeting chat, so you can copy and paste. And number three, stock enough goods and sell them. It's also in the meeting chat. Copy and paste. Y, uh -huh. ¿Y por qué unas vaya? Porque, por ejemplo, la primera oración eh, se ha escrito todo prácticamente desde el principio, ¿verdad? De Place Strategy. Pero, ¿por qué la demás? Porque yo así lo tenía y así la agarro buena. O sea, con de, desde de toda la oración, utilizando, ajá, utilizando The Place Strategy. ¿Y por qué las otras? Ajá, y lo, y lo aceptó.
Pero ¿y por qué las otras, aunque usted escriba eso, solo aceptó lo demás, solo como el complemento? A veces la plataforma tiene diferentes opciones de respuesta. Eh, puede mm. ser que la primera esté configurada para agarrar, porque si se fija, yo no puse lo primero, esto de aquí arriba. Uh -huh. No lo repetí, solo en todas he puesto nada más lo que está en paréntesis agregando uh -huh. y no. Eh, okay. Pero sí, a veces tiene configuradas eh, diferentes eh, opciones de respuesta. Uh -huh. okay. Bueno, la que hicimos de Place, Product, tenía configurado para que usted la pusiera en diferentes órdenes. Place, Product, Price. Promotion uh -huh. o promotion, está, es, esa sí está uh -huh, configurada okay. así y así se okay. con algunas respuestas en específico. Uh -huh. Sí, porque yo la primera está completa, la primera la tengo completa, tal cual está ahí. Ah, ok, uh -huh. qué raro, bueno, sí, a lo mejor uh -huh. tiene configurado para agarrarla. Así. Ajá, por eso, por eso yo todas las había hecho completas, o sea, agarrando el, princi lo, el principio y haciéndolo del paréntesis. Uh -huh. Pero quitándolo, quitándole lo otro, sí salía correcto. Teacher, no. can you, could you show the, the second, please? The second one. No, 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 no. That, yeah. Uh, scroll down. Down, down, down. Yeah, the second, the, our products. Offer great features and benefits. Uh -huh. Okay. I think it's in the meeting chat, but I'm going to copy and paste again. Yes, please. Okay, there it is in the meeting chat. Okay, thank you. Okay, and the last one in this section. Well, first it says the following are example of the 4P product. Uh, choose to which P it belongs to. Number one, how much does your, pri your product cost? Which P does this question belongs to? How much price. does your product? Price. Price, okay. What does your product do? Product. 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 Where will you sell your product? Price. Price. Okay. How would you advertise the product? Promotion. 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 Will you position your product to catch the eye of your target customer? Place. Place. Okay. Uh, take a look at the following statement. Decide whether to use adjective plus enough or enough plus noun. Only type the adjective plus enough or oh, only type the adjective plus enough or adverb plus noun, not the entire sentence. Okay, so we have word in number one. One and all. Okay, yes, yeah, since it is an adjective, right? So we have to place it before enough. Warm enough. Is it warm enough to go to the beach today? Okay. And all people. Mm -hmm. Enough people. Enough this. Enough this. That's strong enough. Strong enough. Enough sugar. Excellent. Very well done. 
Okay, now let's review. Number one, uh, answer is price. Number two, product. Number three, place. Number four, promotion. Number five, place. And then number, well, part number two, exercise warm, warming up. Number two, enough people. Number three, enough test. Number four, strong enough. And number five, enough sugar. Okay, so with this, we complete the, I think we did all the exercise on section number two. And then if you click on next, you will access to the midterm exam. You should finish this midterm exam, section one and two, by this week. If you have any question or if you have any issue with the midterm exam, you can uh, also chat. Um, write in the WhatsApp and try to include the number of the exercise and a picture to see if there is a mistake on your end or is it the platform, okay? Uh, let's see, I'm going to check attendance before I share the presentation. You say present when you hear your name, Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara Vaquerano. Present teacher. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. Jose Enrique Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Yulisa Yamilet Vialta. Carla Ivania Naya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Matiel Saúl García. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Vidal Byron Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna start sharing with you. Uh, last Friday, we were practicing a conversation. Well, we were completing this conversation. We did a couple of them. So here we have the complete conversation so that we can practice. Um, in this, we were 
completing with uh, quantifiers and, and making some comparison. So, um, volunteers to role play? I need to volunteer. We started, um, but we didn't finish it um, Friday, so we're going to practice pronunciation today, and then we're going to continue. Volunteers? Alex, thank you. Alex and Emerson. Okay, you can start, Alex. <clears throat> okay. How did you like the house on 12th Street? Well, it's not as convenient as the apartment on Main Street. That's true. The house is less convenient. And the apartment doesn't have as many rooms as the house. Yes, the house is more spacious. But I think there are just as many closets as the apartment. You're right. The closet space is the same. The wallpaper in the apartment is not as shabby as the wallpaper in the house. I know, but you could change the wallpaper in the house. Mm, the rent on the apartment is expensive as the rent of the house, but the house is much bigger. Oh, I can't decide. Can you show me something else? Excellent. Very well done, Alex and Emerson. You got a nice pronunciation and also you were um, you were doing the proper intonation when questioned, so excellent. Thank you so much. Do we have two more volunteers? Another two volunteers? Marilyn, thank you. And uh, who wants to practice with Marilyn? Volunteer to role play with Marilyn? Mario, thank you so much. Ok, don Mario, empiezo yo. Empiezo usted. Ladies first. Ok. How do you like the house of 12th Street? Well, it's not as convenient as the apartment on Main Street. That's true. The house is less convenient. And the apartment doesn't have as many rooms as the house? Yes, the house is more spacious. But I think I the use as many closets as in the apartment. You're right. The closet space is the same. Not as... The wallpaper in the apartment is not as shabby as the wallpaper is the house in the house i know but you could change the wallpaper in the house mm, the rent of the apartment is not as expensive expensive as the rent of the house but the house is much bigger uh, Oh, I can decide. Can you show me something else? Okay, pretty good. Pretty good job. Thank you so much for um, practicing this conversation. I just hear two mispronounced words. Like, for example, convenient. This is, sounds like convenient. And decide. Oh, both of them sound like a decide. Convenient. But besides that, Excellent job. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, now it says uh, we have this um, like a survey. It's a questionnaire about the place where you live. So uh, we're going to do this individually and uh, maybe you can do it in the in your notebooks. So you can write yes or no about your house and then you're going to score score about your home the outside for example are you close enough to shopping i would say yes mm -hmm. maybe some of you can say no 
Is there enough a public transportation nearby? Yes or no? So you write yes or no for each of the questions that you have here. And then we're going to count. To score, it says how many yes answers do you have? If you have 16 to 20 yes, it sounds like a dream home. If you have 11 to 15, great. All you need now is a swimming pool. <laughs> if you get a six to 10 yes, well, at least guests won't want to stay too long. Uh, from zero to five yes, it's time to look for a better place to live. Okay, I'll give you time and then you will share your scores.
finish.
Are you done? Volunteer to share scores. Volunteer. Haven't you finished yet? Are you still working on this exercise? Do you need more time? Just a few minutes, teacher, please. Okay, thank you.
I finished, teacher. Okay, Alexandra. What was your score? How many guesses did you get? Twelve. Twelve guesses. So you are in this scan. Eleven to fifteen. Great. All you need now is a swimming pool. Okay, so it's nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anybody else would like to share? Hello, teacher. Hi. How many guesses did you get? I got uh, 13. 13. Okay. It's the same. Is, yes. Uh, all, all you need now? Uh -huh. All I need now is a swimming pool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, <laughs> excellent. Pretty good. Anybody else? Yeah, Mario, how many guesses do you get? Twelve. Twelve. Same thing. So nice. I'm glad to hear that all that you need is a swimming pool. And so all the three of you, Mario, Alexandra, and my dear, nice house. <laughs> and anybody else? Okay. So that's it. Thank you so much for sharing. That's nice that you got that score, meaning that you have a nice home. Um, to wrap up this topic of the enough, so we're, I'm going to stop sharing so we can get to the arcade just to practice a little bit more about the enough. Yes, let me get Get into the arcades. Let's open it. Three, eight, three. Okay, we have one exercise here. I'm going to start sharing back again. Okay, here we have one exercise, a drag and drop exercise, evaluations and comparisons. We've been uh, using enough to make comparison, also expressions such as and as, just as, as much, etc. And uh, we have this uh, short paragraph and we need to complete with the expressions that we have here. And there is one extra answer. Um, volunteer to get the control. Volunteer. May I get the control teacher? Sure, you can try. Okay.
Okay, there you go. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. teacher. Thank you for participating. Um, anybody else for the next one? Who is next? Okay, you can try that one. I prefer to rent a house. Apartment, big for me. What do you think? Apartment, big for me. What do you think, Magdiel? It says, I prefer to rent um, a house. Apartment? That's much. That's a day. That's a much. Mm, uh, I, I think that uh, Sis dice que prefiere rentar una casa. Porque los apartamentos... Y dice big para mí. Oh, it's, it's enough. Apartment aren't, enough big. Aren't? Ah, uh, aren't. Aha, uh -huh. no son. And tenemos big. Después del adjetivo big, convendría quizás poner enough. Enough. Uh -huh. Yes, I'd prefer to rent a house. Apartments aren't big enough for me. They, uh -huh, sigue hablando de los apartamentos. Okay, I prefer to rent a house. Prefiero rentar una casa porque los apartamentos no son suficientemente grandes para mí. Ellos, suficientes, ¿cuántos? Y no tienen privacy as houses. Okay. They too much. No, they nos quedaría they too much have enough rooms. No, creo que no. Don't. Don't. Uh -huh. They don't have enough rooms. They don't have enough rooms. And then they don't have privacy as houses. Too much. Mm. No tienen demasiada privacidad como las casas o no tienen tanta privacidad como las casas. Uh, as much. Okay. Now check your answer. Okay. That's correct. Thank you, Magdiel and Mario. Next. Okay. What do you think, class? You can help. I'd like to live in the city. Aren't enough. Could be. Mm. Apartment in the suburb. No, no, no.
Why do you think, class? Maybe just us. Just us. Uh. I think it's too. Are too expensive. Ah, no, no, no. As apartment in the city? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. No, no, no. Sorry. It's okay. Just us. Aren't convenient enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have one listening exercise for unpronounced vowels. Let's see. Okay, let me share audio first. Okay, I'm sharing some. Now, uh, what do you hear? Unpronounced vowels. You click in the icon and then select um, the correct choice. Chocolate. You can hear it again. Listen again. Chocolate. Is first or second option? First. 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 Okay. That is correct. Now, a volunteer for the next two exercises. Let's do two more. Volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Emerson. Okay, you can come for the screen now. Click next. Okay. Now you can click the icon. Uh -huh. Average. Average. Okay. Very good. Do the next one. Click next. Aspirin. Good, excellent. Thank you so much, Alexander. Um, volunteer for the next two. Me. Okay, got Mario and Victor. Okay, let's uh, start with Mario. You can do two and then Victor. Where are you, Mario? Mario. Okay, Mario. Valuable. 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 Mm. I was the first one. 
Try next. Favorite. Favorite. One more try. Several. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Mario. Okay, let's Let's continue with uh, Victor. I heard that you wanted to practice listening with this one. Victor. Okay, Victor. Continue with the next two, please. Business. Business. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much, Victor. Okay, so um, with this, we finished with the topic of the enough. So let's start a new shirt to continue with our exercises from the material. Let's see. Okay, and then uh, on your material that you downloaded from the platform on page 21, we have this exercise. Um, we're going to level the examples of elements found in a product strategy using the questions from the box. Uh, how will you distribute the product? Who are you selling to? What value do you provide to your customers? What are you selling and how would you price a product? We did a similar exercise in the platform at the beginning of the class. So it says, we build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. What is the question for that one, for number one? Don't you remember? That exercise was in the platform. Number four. What are you selling? Yes, excellent. What are you selling? That would be the question for number one. You can type in your answers in your material. And number two, our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and their of young children. What value do you provide your customers? That is correct, Alexandra. Thank you so much. And number three, they are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly.
can be um who are you selling to no for number three they are interested in materials yes. number three nice what do what value do you provide your customer mm -hmm. That is correct. It's a third question. What value do you provide your customer? And number four, that one is easier. We sell our product through a retail channel. How will you distribute your product? That is correct. Excellent, Stephanie. And five, our products are priced per unit and are considered high-end hardware solutions. How will you price your product? Excellent, that is correct. How do you price your product? There you go. Now, um, we have a conversation here on page 22, and we're, we're going to recognize the component and of the place and promotion strategies of a famous national product. That is a sample conversation between Sophia and Arnold. Um, let's see, do we have two volunteers to role play this conversation? Elizabeth, thank you so much. A volunteer to role play with Elizabeth. Marilyn, thank you so much. You can start, Elizabeth. Okay, thank you. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create um ¿Cómo es esa palabra? Teacher <laughs> I'm sorry, I was in mute. You can create awarenesses. Okay. You can create awarenesses about your product from social networking sites and create and create an interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Very okay, good. Would you like to change roles? Okay. Yes. I would like to sell training courses online. I have development a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually relevant. You had to take advantage of access. What did you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create 
awarenesses about your product from social network sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much for practicing this conversation. Um, now, regarding to this conversation that we have already practiced, which is on page 22, we have these three questions. What does Sophia want to sell? What isn't she sure about? What are Arnold's recommendations? You can get back to the conversation, read again if necessary, and answer the three questions. I give you time, let me know when you're ready. Those exercises are on page 22. So you can find them in your Instaport material. Finish? Yes, teacher. Great. What does Sophia want to sell? Sophia wants to sell training courses online. Excellent. That is correct. Uh, now, what isn't she sure about? She isn't sure about the place. Uh-huh, yes, excellent. And what are Arnold's recommendations? Arnold's recommendation is to sell the hair training courses online because people is always using their phones and uh, it would be enough interested Yes, it will be pretty interesting. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your answers, Elizabeth. I think that maybe most of you have similar answers. So uh, now, how to use enough with nouns? This is what we've been practicing. 
And just as a recap, remember that enough is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. It can also be used before a noun, which is uh, what we discussed um, in the previous classes. So uh, we have enough after noun here. So enough and then the noun. So we have a couple of examples here. The company does, doesn't have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. And this is the exercise that we discussed in the platform, remember at the beginning of the class, the marketing department hasn't, I would say, created enough interest. Our products, offer enough feature and benefits. This is just about placing enough and then the noun as we practice in the platform. So if you have the chance to do it in your material, that's fine. And if not, we have already done this exercise on the platform. So we can move to the building vocabulary exercise, uh, which is on page 23, we have the words and their concept, their words are advertising, personal sales, sales promotion, sponsor, and public relations. And then we have the concepts here that we have too much to do. For example, advertising. What is the concept for advertising? What do you think? The first it one, be... teacher. Uh, uh, promotion designed to create a short term in sales. I think sales promotion. Mm. Advertising. Number two. Emerson? Uh, I think it's a, a form of marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to promote or sell a product. Yes, that would be advertising. Now, number two, personal sales. It could be a sales interaction between the firms represented and a consumer one and one to one basis. Yeah, and one to one return on sale. The number, well, say promotion could be uh, promotions designed to create a short term increase in sales. That's right. Uh, 
uh, number four the sponsor uh, a person or organization that provides funds for an activity carry carry out by another excellent that is correct and the last one public relations yeah. building a positive relationship between the organization the media and the public that is correct thank you so much for your participation that was excellent so as you see and i think that you will have the same answer so you have a question about this exercise No question. No teacher. Okay, so that's the vocabulary exercise. And then we have a more vocabulary about the marketing strategies as we already discussed there. Uh, we have uh, some different strategies that marketers use. Um, we're going to write the color right just um, complete the sentences that we have there the, um, we have for example between the marketing strategies we have a free sample coupon code product placement comparative marketing search engine marketing a celebrity endorsement a loyalty program a word of mouth marketing. Let's see if we can match them or write the correct letter to complete. Uh, let's do the number one together. It says get attention for products when they are shown in movies or on TV shows. What is that marketing strategy? What do you think? Could be letter F. Um, you were really close, <laughs> but mm. it is letter C. Product placement gets attention for products when they are shown in movies or on TV shows. Mm. Oh, so the, the second one, it's a letter F, right? It says links, the name, and image of a famous person. Yes, to a product. Yes, that is correct. This one would be letter F. Letter F, it's a celebrity endorsement. Links the name and image of a famous person to a product. Number three, letter A. Excellent. That is correct, Maria. Letter A. A free sample. Let's people try a product they weren't planning on buying. Let's people try. That's a free sample.
you can think in the orders. It's not necessary to follow this order. If that's number difficult. Five, yes. Uh -huh. yes, a loyalty program. Excellent. That's correct. That's a loyalty program. That is strategy is a loyalty program. Rewards customers for repeatedly purchasing products from one retailer. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Let's see, the rest of them are easier. For example, the number six occurs when satisfied customers tell other about their positive experience. What do you think of that one? Would you give up? Word of mouth marketing. Excellent, Elizabeth. That is called word of mouth marketing. Mm -hmm. It's when people tells another um another friends or other possible customers about their Good experience. That is called word of mouth marketing. Excellent. Number seven can be obtained at many websites and entitle customer to discounts. Coupon codes. Coupon codes. Excellent. That's letter B. Coupon codes. Mm -hmm. Points out the superiority of a product. So we are missing D and E. Esas son las que nos faltan. We are missing D and E. Points out the superiority of a product. Comparative marketing? Yes, comparative marketing. Excellent. Thank you so much. And finally, then letter E, search engine marketing would be the number four. Okay, so we're going to be uh, using this vocabulary for marketing strategies. So we have, uh, for example, coupon codes, product placement, Comparative marketing, gene, uh, celebrity endorsement, that's where it is, loyalty program, and word of mouth marketing. Those are different marketing strategies that we will be discussing and practicing about in the next couple of classes. Uh, so for now, that's it. 
Thank you so much for joining and for your participation and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, sleep well. Good night, teacher. Bye. Uh, good night. Bye.